So I don't use too much. I just use like a one small pump. Just like this, I guess. And I use my fingers to dab it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit just so you guys can actually see what I'm actually doing. Okay, so amazing. And then I'm gonna use uh, just a powder puff um, and blend it. I'm using this one for white color ones, just so it's like um like a over like an overlay thing. So I just I just like to like rub it in a little bit. So now we're going to carve our face out with some contour. So I've been using this Pure Theory contour and blusher palette for like I don't know, it's been like really long. It's just like a very random brand. Like I just bought it randomly and I've been using it for FR. So this is the brush I use it with. I'm gonna use this um, the contour shade here. This one. That in. So I do like this. Yes. And then I just blend it out. Same for the other side. And I also do it on my eyes here a little bit. Because uh, it gives my eyes more definition and shape, I guess. So, make it look so like swollen. Use this brush. Dip into the powder and contour my nose. So I do it here. This area. And then I do on the nose bridge as well. And then I like put it, I blend it towards the eyelid as well so that it's more like natural looking. So I just like, just give it a bit more definition. I'm not really doing any like extreme contour or whatever just to make it look like more, you know? I've been loving liquid blushes, so I'm gonna use this blush by Dazzle Me. Focus on these. Liquid blushes are really nice because it's very thin, but it it's pigmented. So I kind of just do it like this. Some people apply it like here, which I occasionally do because it shortens the face. But it depends on the makeup that I'm doing. But I normally just do it like here so that it's in the middle so it shortens it but also like lifts it. A lot of Japanese like cute makeup, they do it around their eyes and it's like here. Uh, it kind of makes my face like wider because the area is focused here so it's gonna make pull your face like wider. And I use my fingers to just blend it. I kind of like to just let it leave for a while and then blend it so that it like seeps into the skin a little bit before I like touch it. So just blend it a little bit. And then um, usually after the liquid, I would like to like lock it in with some powder. So I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use these two shades. I'm gonna be using these two shades. Just mix them up. I and also try not to like dip into like actually dip into like the other colors. So I pat it and then just gently brush it over. You can never have too much blush. So mm -hmm. ah, and then I put it on my eyes a little bit too. So I put here my nose and the chin area because it shortens your face and also makes you look younger and then the nose is just like cute I guess and also like enhances the nose contour that I just did so now we're gonna do our brows this is a new brow pencil that my mom got for me so first thing we're gonna do okay I'm gonna zoom you guys even more in come okay these are my bare naked brows guys I'm being so I'm being so like gen I'm being so like vulnerable right now okay so first we're gonna comb them obviously always comb them always remember to comb them okay so now i'm just gonna draw them um i used to like very arched uh, eyebrows but now i like more straighter ones so we're gonna do a straight shape first
Yeah, so we have like you can you guys can kind of see the shape going forming already. So. so we just fill that in. I like to keep it very light. I don't like it if my brows are too dark. And I have made that mistake of making my eyebrows too dark. And I extend the tail a bit more. I try to keep it super light around this area. Oh my god. That is amazing. That is amazing. Sorry if I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not talking much because usually when I'm doing my makeup, I'm also like this. Like I'm dead silence. And I also don't put music on. Yes, makeup is kind of like my therapy. Um, I feel like my life is very noisy. Like I meet a lot of people and I do a lot of things. So makeup, when I do my makeup, is really the only time where I can get like quiet like no sound and everything and I can just like focus on one thing so that's why I like doing makeup a lot because it really calms me down did I match? um you know what they say brows are like distant cousins and not sisters okay I think I'm done with the brows just brush them through again So now we're gonna move downward to the eyes. I don't really do any eyeshadow. I t tend to keep it very light on my eyes. Normally I don't really do eyeshadow but I'm just gonna put a bit of brown to kind of and I just put it at the corners of my eye to just uh, make them rounder. That's all. I don't really do much here because I feel like uh, this part of my eye is very puffy. So if I put more, it's gonna like make it more puffy, you get what I mean? So that's it for eyeshadow. Uh, we're gonna do our eyeliner now. We're gonna use this um, Dazzle Me brown eyeliner. Um, I used to use black eyeliner a lot but I've, uh, I realized that brown looks much more natural. So. So just follow me, you know. So I tend to draw in a downward line. I don't. I feel like if it's up, it looks a bit weird. My eye shape is weird by itself. So um, downwards just kind of extends my eye shape even more. I follow just the natural line that I already kind of have. And then there's like a just you know. And then I just connect that to that. And also when I when you do eyeliner, it's really important to keep your eyes open because if you close your eyes to do like that, when you open, it's gonna look different. So um, just do it with your eyes open, you know. And I don't fill in this whole thing because it doesn't look good. It only looks good if I just follow just the corner here. Because it's more... It'll look more natural. So. And then um, I do my lower ones. So I kind of do something like this. So I just kind of do a little curve. And then to kind of accentuate it more, like the line that I just draw, I'm gonna use this egg yourself maker that I got. This one is by uh, Colorgram. I'm gonna use this lighter one, the lighter shade. And then I'm gonna like do, I'm gonna fill in the blanks. In a way, it's like trying to make my eyes bigger, like as if the white in my eyes are like this big. You get what I mean? That's like, yeah. And then I also do like the normal, the natural egg yourself that I have. Uh. 
it looks a bit too like rough so I want to use my hand to just tap it a little bit and also because it's cream I don't really like uh, leaving just cream or liquid products to just stay there because it will crease so I like to use like the powder again but I'm going to use my pinky so I like to use a powder to just set it so that it doesn't like get all like sticky and tacky because there's like a powder to like set it you know we're almost there so I take this blush this is from Can Make I love Japanese makeup because it's very like cute and natural I take this white part uh, and I use it as a highlight because it's very like pearly and very subtle so I put it on my nose like that Ooh. And then on the bridge of my nose and then on the corners of the eye eyebrow the eyebrow so I'm gonna use the same Agusa makeup I'm gonna use this dark one and I use this to line my lips um yes because I used like lip liner before but it looks very unnatural so this type will be more natural <laughs> okay so what i do is i do this entire lid like here's a bit dark so i just use so i just color this whole thing and then i color it to like uh -huh. and then for this one i don't really do here but i just kind of make it more thicker here And then I like do a lip corner. Okay, now we're gonna do a uh, lipstick. I'm gonna use this Romand Gla Glasting Melting Balm. Focus, 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 focus. Yeah, this is in the shade uh, Sorbet. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna do the inside of my lips like a gradient. Okay, there I just use my fingers to blend it out. And then I just blend it to like do that line and stuff. The last one is lip gloss. So uh the this lip product is already like pretty glossy and like shiny as well. But because of the lip liner and the lip product i'm going to use this lip gloss to blend it together you know so i kind of put it a lot i like the gloss a bit oh see how it just like blends the lip line and the lip product so this is the finished makeup look it's very simple very natural i did this under like 10 minutes hope you enjoyed this video Mwah.